Welcome to the Yo Show. I'm your bro, Yo Elliot, the shaman of strength. And I'm here to make men strong again. And today we're going to open up this series with a brand new question from a woman. Got this question from our friend, let's just call her She Wolf, on my Instagram account. She goes on to say, Yo Elliot, I have a question regarding a relationship I've been in going on for three years. When a man says he's going to change over and over again and never does, when do you call it quits? I've seen small changes, but he reverts to the same behavior over and over again. I try to be very supportive as a girlfriend with his college and his future career, but he says he can do it on his own and doesn't want my help. I haven't seen much positive action from him, a lot has transgressed between us, and I don't think his behavior is normal or healthy. It's taken a toll. I don't know if I should give him more time or walk away. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. I get that. How much is too much? Well, thank you for your question, She Wolf. And there are a few different ways I like to approach this question, but I'm going to begin with you, young lady. And a little advice about the psyche of men, the way men think. Now, I understand that you sense there's a stronger version of this man within him. And I understand that women invest in men that they can see a future with. But if you have in mind a different version of that man than he's willing to stand in today or even acknowledge as possible for him, you're trying to change him, which is a bad proposition for both parties. You see? Because when you change a man, not only will he ultimately end up resentful to you for making him change his ways or steer his boat in a different direction or repent and revolutionize his ways because it doesn't come from his essence, it comes from his woman, you're going to resent him. Because right now you're attracted to him based on polarity. And even though he may seem like a quote unquote jerk, it's that very jerkness that is keeping you attached to him. It's that polarity. It's that, it's that tension that keeps you stimulated, that keeps you excited, that keeps you engaged, that keeps you wanting to keep going back. So you're conflicted. I understand that, young lady. You're conflicted. You're conflicted because you have a sense of what should be based on imagination. And then you're also addicted to what is based on sensation. And so if you change him, you might get what your imagination tells you what you want, but your sensation is going to stymie. That polarity, that sense of excitement, that tension between the two of you will start to dissipate because you will resent him knowing that you can change him. Women don't really want to change men. Because if you end up being able to change him, you resent the fact that you now have to step in charge as the leader of the relationship. You have to be the leader of the family. And there's no way to be a really good woman, a really good mother, a really good nurturer, a really good home builder, home creator, nester. If you're out there trying to compete with your man or or, or, or help him man up or try to motivate him to do something and be something and, 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 and grow some balls, knowing that you took his balls away from him. You snatched his balls away from him. And it's not about right or wrong, but it's about this sense of autonomy that's super important for men. And if he's doing like you say, he gave his balls away. He's gonna resent those who took his balls, 
And you are going to be upset because you want a man who has balls. So you say here that uh, he says he's going to change over and over and over again, and, uh, and he doesn't, which is okay. It's not his job to change for you. So you've seen small changes, but he reverts to the same behavior over and over again. Now, I'm really curious about what that behavior is that he keeps reverting to over and over again. Because I don't think there are too many things that a man can do that can or should push a woman away, right? A man's got to go his own way. And I would say the only reason why he shouldn't stay is if he's fucking other women. So if you're talking about him out there dipping his spoon in the pudding of many different pretty little pussies, then it is in your best interest to leave him because he's not going to stop. That means he's a pussy addicted man, a pussy whipped man, a weak man. If he can't say no to his, sen his addiction to sensuality and his need for sex and his attention deficit disorder as it relates to always needing to dip means he's a weak man. He's an addicted man. He's not a good man. A good man is devout, devoted, stoic, strong, committed to one woman. But beyond that, he might have a bad attitude, he might swear or smoke or sometimes sloppy. These are all things you got to look over. You got you to get over it. You got to get past those things and pick up the pieces. I really like the way you end this with the grass isn't always greener on the other side and you get that. That means you're a devoted woman. That means that you see the stronger version of him, at least in your own mind. That means that you have hope, it means that you have devotion, it means that you are committed. Very rare these days to find in a woman. And so I want to acknowledge you for being that. Uh, if I could offer advice to your boyfriend, even though he may or may not ever see this video, I would say you've probably, you're probably fucking up because you got a good woman on your hands, bro. A woman who's willing to hang with you. But also, be wary that that good woman is trying to change you. And that change that is inevitable, because you're going to grow up, has to come from you. It has to come from inside. You have to decide you want to change. It has to be for a good reason. You can't submit. A man who submits is a weak man. You've got to aspire. You've got to know what you want. You've got to have a vision. You've got to have a mission. And you've got to take action in the direction of your dreams, my man. Then your woman can relax and allow you to lead. Done. Turn the fuck up.